Farewell, dear ladies, I'm a leaving Shahin. Good night, little doggies, my poldy won't stand. Goodbye, old pain, I'm a leaving Cheyenne. Oh, hitch up your horses and feed them some hay. Seat yourself by me as long as you stay. Goodbye, old pain, I'm a leaving Cheyenne. My foot in the stirrup and the bridle's in my hand. Goodbye, little Annie, I'm a leaving Cheyenne. Goodbye, old pain, I'm a leaving Cheyenne. We'll set down a blanket on the green grassy ground With the horses and the cattle all a grazing all around Goodbye, old pain, I'm a leaving Cheyenne Old pain's a good pony, he paces when he can I'm a riding old pain, I'm an old living man Goodbye, old pain, I'm a leaving Cheyenne Farewell, dear ladies, I'm a leaving Cheyenne. Goodbye, little doggy, my pony won't stand. Goodbye, old pain, I'm a leaving Cheyenne. Goodbye, old pain, I'm a leaving Cheyenne. seen a sight that didn't look better looking back I was born under a wandering star mud can make you prisoner and the plains can bake you dry snow can burn your eyes but only people make you cry home is where you're coming from and dreams are going to which with any luck will never come true I was born under a wandering star I was born under a wandering star Do you know where hell is? Hell is in hello Heaven is goodbye forever, it's time for me to go. I was born under a wandering star. I was born under a wandering star. When I get to heaven, tie me to a tree. For I'll begin to roam, and soon you know where I will be. I was born under a wandering star, a wandering, wandering star.
In a dreary Yankee prison Where a rebel soldier lay By his side there stood a preacher Ere his soul should pass away And he faintly whispered parson as he clutched him by the hand oh parson tell me quickly will my soul pass through the southland will my soul pass through the southland through the old virginia grand Will I see the hills of Georgia And the green fields of Alabama? Will I see that little church house Where I pledge my heart and hand? Oh, parson, tell me quickly Will my soul pass through the Southland? Was for loving dear old Dixie In this dreary cell I lie Was for loving dear old Dixie in this northern state I die Will you see my little daughter Will you make her understand Oh parson, tell me quickly Will my soul pass through the Southland then the rebel soldier died. What does reincarnation mean? A cowpoke asked his friend. His pal replied, it happens when your life has reached an end. They comb your hair and wash your neck and clean your fingernails and lay you in that padded box away from life's travails. The box in you goes in a hole. It's been dug in the ground. Reincarnation starts in when you're planted neath that mound. Them clods melt down just like your box. And you who is inside. And then you're just beginning on your transformation ride. In a while some grass will grow upon your rendered mound. Till someday on your moldered grave a lonely flower is found. And say a horse should wander by and graze upon this flower. That once was you but now become your vegetative bower. That posy that the hoss done ate up with his other feed makes bone and fat and muscle essential to the steed. But some is left that he can't use and so it passes through and finally lays upon the ground this thing that once was you. And say by chance I wanders by and sees this on the ground, and ponders I and wonders at this object that I have found. I thinks of reincarnation, of life and death and such, and come away concluding, partner, you ain't changed all that much. I 
I've been sleeping for some hours. Just woke up and you were there. Like the morning, like the flowers, sunlight whispering in my ear. Red tail hawk shooting down the canyon. Put me on that wind here, I. I will be your true companion when we reach that other side. But I will try, I will stumble, but I will fly. He told me so, proud and high, or oh, and humble, then he might before I go, then he might. Before I go, can't decide which way to travel on the ground or in the sky. All my schemes have come unraveled, all that's left is you and I. I will try, I will stumble. I will fly, he told me so, proud and high or low and humble, many miles before I go, many miles before I go. Ghost on the trees, there's ghost on the wire, asking questions and showing signs, shivering with truth there, lighting fire, lighting fires all down the line. And I will try, I will stumble, I will fly, he told me so, proud and high or Low and humble, many miles before I go, many miles before I go. I will try, I will stumble, I will fly, he told me so, proud and high, oh, low and humble, many before I go, many miles before I go. I would not be here if I hadn't been there, and I would not be there if I hadn't just turned. On Wednesday the 3rd in the late afternoon, got to talking with George, who works out in the back. And only because he was getting off early to go see a man at a Baker Street bookstore for the rare first edition. Steamboats and cotton, a book he would never have sought in the first place had he not been inspired by a fifth grade replacement school teacher at Kirkwood who was picked just at random by some man on the school board who couldn't care less and she wouldn't have been working if not for her husband who moved two months prior to work in the office of a man he had met while he served in the army and only because they were in the same barracks an accident caused by a poorly made roster mixed up on the desk of a sergeant from Denver who wouldn't have been in but be in and back of the car he was riding before he enlisted that hit a cement truck killed both his buddies but the back seat flew up there and spared him from dying and only because of the fault of a workman who forgot to turn screws on a line up in Detroit that hollered at Sam who was hateful that morning hung over from drinking alone in the tavern because of the woman he wished he'd not married that he 
met long ago at a Jewish bar mitzvah for the son of a man who had moved there from Jersey. Managed the drugstore, the sold the prescription, the cured up the illness he caught way last summer. He would not have caught, except for some kid all contagious with fever who sat on his lap. Was a son of a man who sold him insurance he met at a party in college last year. The sun is sinking in the west, the cattle go down to the stream, the red wing settles in the nest, and it's time for the cowboy to dream. Purple light in a canyon, that's where I long to be with my three good companion, just my rifle, my pony, and me. Gonna hang my sombrero on a limb of a tree. Come home, sweetheart, darling, just my rifle, my pony. And me, just my rifle, my pony, and me. Whip a will in the willow, sing the sweet melody, riding to Amarillo. Just my rifle, my pony, and me. Just my rifle, my pony, and me. No more cows to be roping, no more strays will I see round the bend. She'll be waiting, my rifle, my pony, and me, for my rifle, my pony, and me. In a dreary Yankee prison Where a rebel soldier lay By his side there stood a preacher Ere his soul should pass away And he faintly whispered parson as he clutched him by the hand Oh parson, tell me quickly Will my soul pass through the Southland? Will my soul pass through the Southland? Through the old Virginia Grand Will I see the hills of Georgia And the green fields of Alabama Will I see that little church house Where I pledge my heart and hand Oh, Parson Tell me quickly, will my soul pass through the Southland? Was for loving dear old Dixie in this dreary cell I lie. Was for loving dear old Dixie. In this northern state I die Will you see my little daughter 
Will you make her understand? Oh, parson, tell me quickly, will my soul pass through the Southland? Then the rebel soldier died. Well, I started out to be a towboat man, but I never got the hang of a ratchet bar. I was growing up a decking in the Illinois trade with coal dust in my ear. Got stuck in the ice on Christmas Eve and I froze myself, it's true. Just a shivering and a shaking with a down south case of them steamboat whistle blue. Oh, Captain Way, I'm sorry, my hat is all to you. You've been hanging out by the old cook stove with a steamboat whistle blue. Well, way up north I called your phone, but I didn't get no one to answer. So I opened up the window and I whistled a tune and I watched the cars go by. Gonna hunt you up and ask you, have you found out anything new? Are you hanging with the best you have with the steamboat whistle blue? I've been right here since nine o'clock and believe you me, that's true. Just looking at the waterways churning over with the steamboat whistle blue. Well, the city's grown up where it looks all square like a crossword puzzle on the landscape. Looks like electric shaver now where the courthouse used to be. The grass is all synthetic and we don't know for sure about the food. The only thing we know for sure is them steamboat whistle blues. I'd sit and watch my TV if I thought I could trust the news. But the only thing I trust these days is them steamboat whistle blues. Far out, Johnny, I heard him say as he stretched out back on the waterbed. Bluegrass music is a thing of the past and the same for rock and roll. I loaned him two or three dollars and he gave me the latest news. And he left me here with a rolling stone and steamboat whistle blue. I tear off down the river someday before I'm through. Come back here and see it out with the steamboat whistle blue. sleeping for some hours just woke up and you're there like the morning like a flower sunlight whispering in my ear red tail hawk shooting down the canyon put me on that wind here I I will be your true companion when we reach the other side I will try, I will stumble, I will fly He told me so, riding high or low and humble Many miles before I go, many miles before I go Can't decide which way to travel On the ground or in the sky All my schemes have come unraveled All that's left is you and I But I will try, I will stumble But I will fly, he told me so Riding high or Low and humble, 
Many miles before I go Many miles before I go Ghost on the trees, there's ghost on the wires, asking questions and showing the signs. Shiving with truth, there, lighting fires, lighting fires all down the line. But I will try, I will stumble, but I will fly. He told me so, proud and high. Oh, Low and humble, many miles before I go, many miles before I go, but I will try, I will stumble, but I will try, he told me so, proud and high, oh, low and humble, many miles. Before I go Many miles Before I go I don't like stories, nor am I going to act A part around this campfire that ain't a truthful fact So fill your pipes and listen, I'll tell you, let me see I think it was in 50, from there till 63 You've all heard tell of Bridger, well I used to ride with him and many long days journey I've had alongside Jim And back in old Fort Reno a trapper used to dwell We called him Mad Jack Reynolds and the scouts all knew him well Now in the spring of 50 we camped on Powder River we killed a calf of buffalo and we cooked a slice of liver. While eating quite contented, we heard three shots or four. Put out the fires and listened, and we heard a dozen more. We all knew old Jack Reynolds had moved his traps up here. So catching up our rifles and hitching up our gear. We moved as quick as lightning, to save was our desire. Too late the painted heathens had set the house on fire. We turned our horses quickly and waded down the stream. And close beside the water I heard a muffled scream. And there amongst the bushes a little girl did lie. I picked her up and whispered, I'll save you or I'll die. Oh, what a ride old Bridger had covered my retreat. At times a child would whisper in a voice so clear and sweet. Dear Papa, God will take you to Mama up above. There's no one left to love me. There's no one left to love. That little girl was 13 and I was 22. Says I'll be your Papa and I love you just as true. She nestled to my bosom, her hazel eyes so bright. Looked up and made me happy through the close pursuit that night. 
A year had passed when Maggie, we called her Hazel Eyes. In truth was going to leave me, had come to say goodbye. Her uncle, Mad Jack Reynolds, long since reported dead, had come to claim my angel, his brother's child, he said. What could I say? We parted, Mad Jack was growing old. I handed him a banknote and all I had in gold. They rode away at sunrise, I went a mile or two. In parting said, we'll meet again, may God watch over you. Close nestled by a babbling brook, a little cabin stood. Oh, weary from a long day, Scott, I saw it in the wood. The pleasant valley stretched below, the mountains towered above. Twas like some painted picture, or a well-told tale of love. While drinking from my juggery and resting in the saddle, I heard a gentle rippling like the dipping of a paddle. And turning toward the water, a strange sight met my view. A pretty girl was seated in a little bark canoe. She stood up in the center, a rifle to her eye. I thought for just one moment that my time had come to die. So tipped my hat and told her if it all was the same, to put up her little shooter as it was not her game. She dropped the deadly weapon and leaped from her canoe. Says she, I beg your pardon, I thought you were a Sioux. Your long hair and your buckskins left warrior like and rough. My bead was spoiled by sunlight, or I dropped you sure enough. Well, perhaps it'd been better had you shot me then, says I. For surely such an angel could bear me to the sky. She blushed and dropped her eyelids, her face was crimson red. One shy glance that she gave me, then she hung down her head. And then her arms flew around me, I'll save you or I'll die. I clutched her to my bosom, my long lost hazel eye. The rapture of that moment was heaven unto me. I kissed her then amid her tears, her merriment and glee. Her heart next mine was beating when sobbingly she said, My dear long lost preserve here, they told me you were dead. The man who claimed me from you, my uncle good and true, lies sick in yonder cabin, and he talks so much of you. If Joe was living, darling, he said to me last night, he'd care for you, dear Maggie, when God puts out my life. We found the old man sleeping, thus Maggie let him rest. The sun was slowly sinking in the far off golden west. Although we talked in whispers, he opened up his eyes. A dream, a dream, he murmured, alas, a dream of life. She drifted like a shadow to where the old man lay. You had a dream, dear uncle, another dream today. I dreamed I saw an angel as pure as drifted snow. And standing close beside her was California Joe. She said, I'm no angel, dear uncle, this you know. 
My hands are brown, my face is too, I never white as snow. But listen while I tell you, for I have news to cheer. Your hazel eye is happy, for truly Joe is here. Then but a few days later, the old man said to me, Joe boy, she is an angel, or as good as angels be. For three months she's hunted Joe, and she's nursed me too. And I believe she'll safe alone, my boy, with you. Then but a few days later, Maggie, my wife and I, when riding from that valley with tears all in our eyes. For there beside the cabin within a new made grave, we laid him neath the daisies, her uncle good and brave. Hereafter every gentle spring will surely find us there. At his graveside in the valley, We'll keep it fresh and fair. Our love was newly kindled while resting by the stream. And two hearts were united in love's sweet happy dream. And that is all my story, and this you ought to know, that Hazel Eye is happy with California Joe.